everybody welcome back to my channel stargirl tv today i'm going to be showing you guys how i made this top this two-piece top um it is two pieces if you guys could see i don't know if you guys can see that well um this piece is a tank top this piece is the overlay i did one sleeve as you guys can see just to be a little bit different in this tutorial guys i do use clothes that i already own just to show you guys an easier way that you can start to sew without the whole um pattern thing because patterns do get complicated they are you know you do have to use math at times so just to make life more easier guys i showed you guys how you can use your own clothes to make a design and this is just the start i will attach the picture into the screen that's the tops that i use to make this design here so basically i just traced it um cut out the pattern and then laid it over my fabric and cut it out but obviously guys in the video i'll explain and show you guys how i did that so um i hope you guys like the, this design um let me know if you guys like this video just stay tuned to see how i made it so i just love this top though it's so cute like you could make a skirt for this you can make an um like a matching bottom for it but as you guys can see i just wore mine with some jeans so this is how I'm wearing mine for starters but just stay tuned for more videos like this I had so much fun making this I'm gonna have fun wearing it because to be honest I love stuff that is different you definitely won't see anybody walking down the street or at a party in this outfit or top here so you know I mess with the whole confetti thing I love it I'm looking like a whole snack or a whole meal but yeah guys, without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the video. As I said guys, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned, give me feedback. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Mwah. Okay guys, so for this project, you'll be needing muslin, fabric of your choice, preferably sequins or confetti, scissors, matching thread, sewing pins, a seam ripper, marking tools, a sewing machine, and of course, clothes that you can use for your patterns so the first thing we're gonna do is take our muslin and fold it in half we're gonna also fold our tank top in half and place it on the fold of our muslin next just take your ruler and your chalk and start tracing out your top Now I'm just marking my pattern F for front and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. You should now have something that looks like this. I'm just giving it a quick press to make sure that it's nice and flat and I'm also going in and cleaning up my seams. The next thing we're going to do is fold it in half again because now we're going to trace the back of the top. Now you want to make sure that the front pieces are tucked in because we're only tracing the back, not the front. Go ahead and cut it out. When you guys are sewing, never be afraid to clean up your edges as you go along and always mark your patterns just so that you know the difference between the front and the back. You should now have two pieces that look like this, your front and your back. Now it's time to trace the overlay top. So it's the same procedure, just fold your muslin in half, place your garment down and then begin tracing. Now tracing the armhole could be a bit tricky, but just do the best you can to follow the seam line. I like to make little notches just to make sure that when I'm ready to cut out my material, everything matches up perfectly. You should now have something that looks like this. Hey, 
Now we're going to trace the front and the back of the top. Obviously do them individually and do the best you can to follow the seam lines. So as you guys can see, I always mark the center point of my patterns and then just fold it in half just to make sure that it's very symmetrical. And I do the same thing when I'm cutting out my material. I forgot to mention that when you're tracing out your pieces, please add seam allowance. I use half an inch and that works for me, but it also depends on the seam. So just keep that in mind. So as I mentioned to you guys before, you can always clean up your seams as you go along. So I'm just shortening the back because it was a bit too long. Again, I'm marking all of my notches. Now here you have the front and the back for your overlay top. At this point, you should have your back piece, your front piece, and also your sleeve. And for your tank top, you should have two pieces, which is your front and your back. So in total, you should have five pieces. Now time for the fun part. Take your pattern, place it on top of your material. Make sure you put something heavy down so that it doesn't move and simply begin cutting. Also make sure that you're cutting along this stretch to ensure you get the best fit. As I showed you guys before, I always just cut to the middle point, fold it in half and continue cutting. You should now have something that looks like this. This is your perfect opportunity to go in and clean up any seams that are like ruggedy or a little bit off. So all of this is pretty much repetitive, it's just the same thing, place your fabric over your material and cut out your pieces. This material can be really messy so I recommend to just clean up as you go. You should now have something that looks like this. So before we go along sewing our two pieces together, it's best to seam rip the seams just to ensure that your seams are clean and we don't need any broken needles. So just seam rip those sequins. When you're done, your seam should look something like this. Now take your front and your back and place them right sides together. Then you're gonna sew a seam along the side seams and your shoulder seams. So the first thing you're gonna do is place a pin to make sure that your seams stay together and sew a straight stitch along your seams. Always make sure you cut your threads and when you start sewing, you do a back tack and when you finish sewing, you do another back tack. I always take my time to make sure that every seam is clean with no hanging threads. When you're finished cleaning up your seams, Simply flip your shirt inside out and you should have something that looks like this. A cute tank top. Now it's time to work on our overlay piece. So it's the same procedure. We're just going to take our pattern pieces laid over our material and begin cutting them out. Hey, 
So your piece should look something like this. After cutting out all your pieces, you should have a front piece, a back piece, and lastly your sleeve. Lay your front piece and your back piece right sides together and run a straight stitch along your shoulder seam and a straight stitch along one side of the underarm seam. After sewing them together, you should have something that looks like this. Once again, I'm modifying my garment. The back was way too long, so I'm just going in and cutting it a bit shorter. Now it's time to work on your sleeve. So as I showed you guys before, you need to seam rip your seams just to ensure a clean seam and no broken needles. So I'm just literally taking my time to make sure that there's no sequence in my seams before I go ahead and pin it together and then take it to the sewing machine. So as you can see here, I'm literally folding my sleeve in half and running pins alongside the whole seam. You should now have something that looks like this. After running your straight stitch along your seam, put your hand inside the sleeve and just simply and carefully flip it inside out. Or should I say right side out. Now you have your cute little sleeve. So at this point I like to put my arm inside the sleeve just to make sure it's a great fit. Also you can never actually make your sleeve bigger unless you're adding material. So it's good to cut it big because you can always take it in. Now it's time to attach your sleeve to your bodice piece. So you're just going to simply align the middle of your sleeve to the middle of the top. The middle of the top usually has a seam so it shouldn't be hard to find the center. Just put them together and place your pins. After you're done pinning, you should have something that looks like this. Now all you want to do is just take it to your sewing machine and complete your last stitch. So finally guys, we made it to the end of this video. This is how it looks when it's done. This is the overlay top as you guys know. And this is the tank top. So finally guys, we made it to the end of this video. Stay tuned to see how I wore mine.